Ring in the new year with amazing savings from Appalachian Wireless. Get the Galaxy S7 for just $49.99 when you sign or renew a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While the Floyd County Fiscal Court has been trying to wrestle through their current fiscal worries with a reduction in coal severance money, there is an even greater worry on the horizon, and it is the future of the Thunder Ridge racetrack and what becomes of the entity and its $2.3 million in bond principal that is still tied to the county in the event of a default. It's a question that leaves county officials speechless. Jack, it's only it's time to tell. Yeah, that's a, that's a great uh, question because yeah, it's something is. that me and Keith has been worrying ourselves to death about and making phone calls and, and trying to delve through this complex, the, the complexities of this. And, and it definitely was not ever set up in a way that protected the taxpayers of this county. I don't think it that was, but, <clears throat> but we're going to do everything in our power to keep trying to protect them. The, there will be action required of us, obviously, if they stop making the payments. The Floyd Game Public Properties Corporation issued the bonds, so we have to deal with it. How do we deal with it? Only time will tell. Hmm. Uh, but uh, virtually some portion of every day of mine and Ben's life is committed to this issue. Yeah. Judge Executive Ben Hale says that the deal to tie the county to the bond payment without ever requiring any reduction in principle was flawed from the beginning. I cannot understand how the counties would ever get in a position to where they basically finance and set up a private business and, and the counties would be at, at, uh, at risk of taking all the responsibilities. I've never heard of that as an economic development project. I mean, just crazy. The fiscal court was hoping to relieve the pressure of the bond payment by sale of Thunder Ridge's racing license to Keeneland. However, now it seems that deal is unlikely. Keeneland has now made it clear that it's their intentions to go back to the Horse Racing Commission to seek this ninth license, which has affectionately been become known as the Phantom license because it didn't exist, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, Regardless, they, they intend to try to get a ninth license and avoid having to deal with Appalachian Racing. If they get that ninth license approved by the Horse Racing Commission, then they'll never have to deal with Appalachian Racing. In which case, then we, our concern kicks in about whether or not they'll continue to do business because as we look at it outside of looking in, it doesn't look like they do a lot of business. And we wonder how long they'll continue to make payments. The county is investigating every contingency in the event that ARI defaults on the bond payment. The next scheduled bond payment is not due until May of this year. For now, reporting from Floyd County for EKB News, I'm Jackson Latta.